what what were you feeling i guess like like what were your symptoms with covid like feeling like pain in my like what is this in english in your lungs i don't know yeah lungs i feel pain there like when i blood like when i come out mm-hmm. sometimes and uh, i like think too much you know like think too much like about ah, when I gonna be healthy, when I gonna be healthy, when I can fight, when I can go train, you know, like that that make me like that this the post I did, you know, like yeah, maybe it's finished for me, like something like that. Uh-huh. Uh, well, because at the time you did that, how long had you been sick when you, when you made that post that you said you you just thought that maybe it was over? But it was like when I was in Sweden, like start to feel me better. Then I feel like one week better, like one week bad, you know. Was think I was training, still training, where I was feeling bad, bad also. Uh, sometimes we call ambulance, like <laughs> they come also to the gym and help me. Uh, it was like too crazy this month. So the coach said to me, like, no, we can do it. Like, like next year. Yes. <laughs> you have to look your uh, body and everything like you most important like your healthiness mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i stopped uh, training and come to the usa was there the doctors helped me there also when i come back to my country they here also they helped me i did my house surgery i did the operation here that they took out some stuff like i don't know how to explain in english and now I feel much better. I can wait more. Like I was like 93 kilos, feel me stronger. Mm. Now just start to train with my team and uh, find somebody to kill. <laughs> well, now I, uh, I know that English is not your first language, so uh, it's going to be, yeah. it's going to be difficult, but I, I haven't heard of someone requiring a surgery yet for, for COVID related. Yeah, I didn't tell somebody. It's like I told you first, you know, like uh, nobody knows about that. I, just my family, my brother, like mm-hmm. know about that. And my manager, you know. Like, so is it is it to help you breathe or is it, uh, was it? Yeah, was it- help you to breathe first. Like it was something I, when I was, I, I see you in you say, maybe I can show you this thing. I don't know how I explain it you know, huh. in English. Huh. It's like, I start to learn my English like three, like when I start, the way I come in and you see, that time I start to like speak English, you know, oh, before right. that never. English, like that's why I. It sometimes, sometimes I can't explain something in English. No, dude, I always you're, you're, with that. You're doing great. I don't think most people could have an interview without a translator. Only speaking English for last year was when you first started speaking English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less less than a year. I think I think you're doing all right. But this, dude, was, did the UFC know that you were having surgery? Did you keep them in the loop on that? I told my manager. I don't know. He told Dana somebody. I'm, Maybe I don't know. Was it uh? Did you have to go? Did you have to go to sleep for them to do the, the surgery? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then, how yeah. long were you in the hospital? Uh, three days. Okay. But the, when I was home, that when my I have one doctor here, it's like he all, every day come and check my body and how I like my healthy and you know? all. Mm. They check everything here. Do you think the surgery has been the biggest difference for you? Like, is that sort of kind of what ended your your symptoms and made you feel a lot better? I like feel better, like in my head also, like feeling better. I was like too angry, you know, to do something. I didn't know what you're gonna do. Like I was close to do something, things also like, no, yeah, no, like, uh, because 